Christian missionaries regularly claim that the Tanakh, the Hebrew Scriptures, contain numerous prophecies identifying Jesus as the Messiah. However, when these passages are examined in context, these claims can readily be seen to have absolutely no substance. It's interesting that the Christian Bible has a few times when Jesus himself makes the claim that a particular passage from the Hebrew Bible refers to him. One of these is from the book of Psalms, chapter 41, verse 10. In the Christian Bible, it will be verse 9, where it says, Even my own familiar friend, in whom I trusted, who ate of my bread, has lifted his heel against me. In John chapter 13, in the Gospel of John, Jesus refers to this passage and uses it to predict that Judas Iscariot would betray him at the Last Supper. Now the problem is that any fair reading of Psalm chapter 41 will fail to reveal any reason to assume that it is forecasting that the Messiah would be betrayed by a close friend. Psalm 41 is very clearly a psalm about King David. We know indeed that David was betrayed by numerous people in his life that were close to him. His own son tried to pursue him and kill him. His own father-in-law, King Shaul, Saul, tried for a long time to kill David. There's nothing in the psalm that indicates, that tells us, that it is speaking about what would be taking place in the life of the Messiah. Of course, it would be ridiculous and pointless for the Bible to tell us that one of the ways of identifying who the Messiah would be is that he would be betrayed by a close friend, because the truth is that almost everyone in the world could report that at some time in their life they were let down by someone who was close to them. But there's a more serious problem here in that the speaker of Psalm 41 makes an important confession in verse 5. In verse 5, the speaker says, As for me, I said, O Lord, be gracious to me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. For Christians who insist that Jesus was sinless and never in his life sinned, it is impossible for them to, on the one hand, say that verse 10 of this psalm is Jesus speaking, but to deny that five verses earlier, the speaker is not Jesus, when any reading of the psalm would reveal that the same speaker is speaking throughout the entire psalm. 